Good. Good morning, everyone. We're continuing our mystical tour here about what is picking a king. And we said that King David was really composed of uh, <coughs> 140 years that was given to him as a gift. 140 years. David was supposed to have been born, uh, stillborn, King David. He was so too good for the world, too good for the world. But Adam gave him years of his life, and Abraham gave him years, and Jacob, Jacob gave him also years of his life, and uh, Joseph gave him also years of his life. So that added up altogether 140 years. So the Rebbe asked the question, why, if so, did Adam, did, did King David only live 70 years? He should have lived 140 years. So the answer is, is that these years that were given to him were different types of years. The, the years that were given to him by Adam, <clears throat> this was for the power of rulership. For the, 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 that he could bring pure godliness in to everything that he did as a ruler. Everything that he did as a ruler. Not just that he would be inspired by God, like the other kings, but that it would actually be pure godliness <coughs> that would come through. He would be a vehicle for Hashem. The vehicle for, for the creator 